Hello everyone, I want to do something a little bit different in this video than I normally do. I've inserted the spec screen from the Valco Baby website regarding the Snap Duo trend. I will also put this information at the end of the video, but I wanted to verbally go over and discuss a couple things that people ask me about at the end of every stroller video. So even though I'm going to talk about this stuff in the video, sometimes we miss things during a video and I want to make sure that you guys had it. So first big question I get is how tall is a stroller? The Snap Duo trend is 41 and a half inches tall when open. It is also 29 inches wide. What that means is it fits through every standard doorway and does meet the specs requirements to be allowed through Disneyland. So you can take this double stroller through Disneyland. Now the stroller is also 24 pounds. So the stroller weighs 24 pounds unmodified, nothing else on it. And it allows you to put a child of 45 pounds in each seat. So you got a 45 pound and a 45 pound for a max total of 90 pounds of child in the Snap Duo trend. And again, this information, will I will go over it in the video itself, but I wanted to make sure you had it and had an easy place to go back and find the information if you miss it during the video. Here we go. Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do an updated Velco Baby Snap Duo trend stroller review for all of you. Now you guys know I have been a Velco fan since my girls were born. I currently have a five-year-old and a four-year-old. And for those of you who may be thinking, wow, that's kind of old to have a stroller, Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'd like to talk to you guys just really quick about a couple situations that happened very, very recently where I would have been up a creek without a paddle if I had not had a stroller with me. So we'll have a little story time at the end of this. But right now, for those of you who've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I've had a Snap Duo trend since the prototype came out. So since before you could even buy one, I have had one and I adore this stroller, you guys. So I'm gonna bring my charcoal, my charcoal gray stroller over here, my Snap Duo trend in just a little bit so you guys can see what that stroller looks like having been used at least at a minimum every weekend for the last several years. So we literally use our stroller every weekend plus during the week a lot of times every week since we got it. It's got heavy use and it looks beautiful. So I'll bring that over into the frame in just a little bit. But they just came out with the black color you guys and I knew I had to get the updated black Snap Duo Trend because it is just so beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. So for those of you who are interested up in the iCard above, I will link my whole playlist for all of my Velco stroller videos. But right now we are simply gonna be talking about the newest Snap Duo Trend and the beautiful tailor-made fabric. It is stunning. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with this fabric, it is a very high quality fabric and it is water resistant. Back when we first got our very first Snap Duo Trend, my daughter dumped a whole grande sized cup of water inside the stroller, pulled her out really quick and noticed that there was like an inch of water sitting up above the fabric. Wrote to Valco, was like, hey, is your, is your fabric water resistant? They're like, yeah, it is. It's water and stain resistant. So as long as you get that liquid up really quick, it's really not gonna seep into the fabric. So that is a beautiful feature for those of you who like to let your kids have water or anything else in the stroller. Literally for ours, we take a baby wipe when they get dirty, wipe it with a baby wipe and the fabric looks beautiful. I mean, literally I'm gonna show you our other stroller. I literally just pulled it out of the trunk of the car. You may see some snackies in it, but what you're gonna notice is that there's no stains with heavy use because it wipes clean so beautifully. But let's go ahead and jump on into this stroller. So one of the first things you're gonna notice about the Snap Duo Trend besides the beautiful fabric is that it's trimmed out with the leatherette trim. So the bumper bars, and the handle that you push with in the back, which we'll talk about in a little bit, are all covered in a leatherette fabric. Super, super beautiful, high quality, love it. Have never had any problems with it. No nicks, no damage. Super comfortable to push. One of the main things that I love about the Valco strollers, you guys, is how well it holds my children. Now, again, I have a four-year-old and a five-year-old right now, and they are up. My four-year-old is the 97th percentile for height, and my five-year-old is at the 99th percentile for height. They are very tall, so I run into a problem with seated height in strollers, and this stroller gives me a great seated height. So let's go ahead and talk about some dimensions for those of you who are interested. Now, I am going to put a rudimentary drawing at the end of this video, one that I did myself with a whole bunch of nitty-gritty dimensions for all of you math-minded people out there like me who want to see it. Now mind you, this is my drawing. I'm not an artist, but for those of you who want every little measurement, I will include that at the end of the video. But let's just talk about some of the basic measurements. So right now from the bottom of the seat where the child's bum sits to the top of the stroller right here is 19 inches. So from here to here, you have 19 inches. Now the stroller is 11 and a half inches wide in each seat. So you've got 11 and a half inches this way. And then the seat part right here where the bum sits and the legs are is seven and a half inches. So you have a seven and a half inch depth. You have an 11 and a half inch width, and then you have an overall 19 inch height. 
Now on top of that, what becomes very important to me is seated height. So seated height inside the canopy. So we're gonna talk about this canopy. This is one pull out. So you have two panels right here. There's a zipper. You're gonna undo the zipper. You got three panels. Then there's another zipper. Pull out, you have a fourth panel. This becomes very important to me in Southern California where we are up over 100 degrees, probably 20 weeks out of the year. It becomes very, very important for my children to have a place to cool off, to hide from the sun, to hide from the elements. Even if it's cold outside the wind, I just, I cannot say enough great things about this panel, the hood panel. It's one of the things that first drove me to want to look at Velcro strollers. But what we were talking about before we got into here was seated height. So what's really important to me is the seated height from where the bum of the child sits to the peak of the canopy. So that's the internal height here. So from the bottom of the bum to the very top peak of the canopy right here, which is 28 inches. That is almost unheard of with strollers. So again, when the child sits here at the bottom from the, where the bottom is to the top peak of the canopy on the inside is 28 inches of seated height. So that's not how tall they are. That's not their leg. That's just the height from their bum to the top of their head. So my children can both sit in here with extra room to spare. And I'll insert some photos of my children sitting here. Remember they're four and five and they're up both of them up over the 95th percentile for height. So you will see what two very long skinny children look like riding in a Valco. So one of the other things that drove me to Valco before I ever bought one was how upright you're able to sit the seats. Because the backrest does adjust in so many positions, you can also put the seat in a fully upright position, which is really important to me for children who like to sit up. My children like to sit very upright for the most part. They either like to be completely upright or completely back. They don't like anything in between. And so I really wanted to find a stroller that only had a lot of seated height and seated height headroom with the canopy. I also wanted to find a stroller that had a really nice straight back when I wanted it. So you can see See here how nice and upright these backrests do sit. So that's a very nice feature for those of you who either have small children, six months and older, who like to sit very upright, or older children who just do not need to lay down. Um, so again, my children like to either be fully reclined all the way back as far as it goes, or pretty much as upright as it goes. There's kind of nothing in between for us, but it is nice to know that that's there if you want it. But again, look how upright this is. It's super upright. And a lot of strollers too, when you make them upright, what happens is it causes this part to kind of pitch forward like this. It doesn't happen with the Velcro. You can make the seat back completely upright and you still have a nice flat bottom portion of the seat for the child's bum to sit on. To go ahead and take your child in and out of the stroller, you do have a swingway bumper bar. So right here on the inside of the stroller. So right here where my finger is right here, there's a button. If you depress the button and you pull, the bumper bar swings away. It's a really nice feature. This is also how you can attach a, an accessory. There are snack trays that you can buy separately. You would just remove the bumper bar and attach the snack tray the same way. And this does swing from either side, but you'll notice you don't have as much movement this way because it does bump into the other bar. So if you want a full swing away motion, just pull from the inside out. Now while we have the bumper bar out of the way, let's go ahead and look at the five point harness. This is a spring release. It's really nice. You just push the button and they swing apart. So I have a lot of people ask me how you buckle the stroller and it's a puzzle piece buckle with a T-bar. So you've got your slide and your T-bar, they slide together and then you're gonna take it and snap it together. My four and my five-year-old can buckle themselves. They love to do this themselves. So it is a very easy thing to do. So again, it just snaps together very, very easily. And again, it's got a spring release. So it's very easy to undo. Footrest. This stroller does have a foot well right here. You can see it right here down here and it's got nice coated bumps here. It's like a rubberized portion. So if it gets dirty, you can wipe it clean. But you do have one, two, three foot well positions. And then there's buttons on the side right here. See where my fingers are. Just push the buttons in. So the rest goes down. My four and five year old love to ride with their feet up like this, sitting Indian style with their feet up on here. It's their favorite way to travel or with their feet up over their legs up over the bumper bar and their feet right here. They like to lounge in their strollers, but every kid's different. They do sometimes use the footrest down here, the footwell, but most of the time they like to just put their legs up here. And again, I'll insert some photos so you guys can see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and talk about overall dimensions and specs of the stroller. So this stroller is 24 pounds. It's a very lightweight, full-feature stroller. So again, 24 pounds. 
it is 29 inches wide. That means that this stroller can go through every standard doorway you can imagine. We take it through everything, every doorway. The only doorway that we ever encountered in the years we've been using this stroller that it did not fit through was when we went to look at an old lighthouse and the doorways were super narrow. Like my husband almost had to go through the doorway like sideways because they're so narrow. But other than that, all standard doorways, this stroller has fit through. It is also, if you go to Disneyland, they have markings and I'll put that, a picture of that. How wide your stroller can be to go into the park the stroller is narrow enough to go through disneyland so they have new stroller guidelines and you can take the snap duo trend you can take all of the valcos through disneyland all of their doubles fit so on top of being 24 pounds and being 29 inches wide it is 41 and a half inches tall when it's open so you got 41 and a half inches tall when it's open and let's go ahead and talk about since we're talking about the height let's go ahead and talk about the handle So right here you have this beautiful handle it is covered in leatherette covering and it is adjustable you have three height adjustments so it goes from 38 and a half inches to 41 and a half inches to 43 inches so you do have a three position height adjustment i am five foot three and a half and i like it right here at the lowest 38 and a half inch setting my husband who's six foot he pushes it at the same one but you could use any of them and still be comfortable. It's got a great push. Also on the handle, you're gonna see that you also have a strap. It is elasticized for comfort, so you have a wrist strap. So if you're going down a hill, you're moving quickly, you know, you can use that as well. But I do like that it is elasticized and the leash is not super long. And then if you wanted to move this, obviously, you could slide it anywhere you wanted on your stroller handle. Now on the back of the stroller, you're also going to see that you have these beautiful bags. This is one of my favorite features. So you have these nice storage bags on the back. So great. And they zipper shut. So my old strollers that had bags that I, when I would fold them, if they didn't have zippers, the stuff would come out. So this keeps everything secure. And I just like to keep baby wipes and napkins, that kind of stuff. Sometimes I'll throw my keys in there. So just a really, really nice feature. The other thing while we're back here is let's go ahead and take a look at how we recline the stroller. So right here, you have a squeeze mechanism. Squeeze it down and the stroller lays completely flat. This is rated for newborn use. So when you have it like that, you can leave this up like this and you can have airflow come through here. So you just toggle it up. You have airflow come through here, which is a really nice feature if you're worried or you can see baby like this. But if you wanna keep this down, let's go ahead and turn it around. You put your hood all the way down you now have a fully enclosed area for baby who's sleeping and if you want to peek at baby this way there's a mesh flap with a magnet so you don't have any velcro to wake baby if baby's sleeping but really nice to peek at baby so you have a full newborn rated recline for the littles to lay here which is really nice. Now, while we are here looking at the newborn recline, let's go ahead and talk about this. Oh, right here, let's go ahead and talk about how much room baby has while they're laying down. So from the bottom of the footrest to the top of the backrest, you have 36 inches. So that's a lot of space. My little still do like to lay down. I will tell you at their height, even though they fit great sitting up, when they lay down, their heads do push a little bit into the mesh, but because this is soft and movable, it doesn't bother them at all. And usually what they'll do is they'll lay down and they like to put their feet up over the bar and they put their feet right here. So you've got their back, their head, their knees, and then their feet. Because <laughs> they do like to get in here and do this and hide. So I don't blame them. A lot of times if we were out for 12 hours, like we like to go out, it gets late, they like to get in there and hide, which is really, really nice. And then because this is a micro adjustment, backside when you go to adjust the stroller you can adjust it at any height so you have all the way back and then everything in between to a full upright seated position I almost always leave my hood open with the four panels available I don't always use the four panels but I like it because it gives me so much variety for how much I want to use the hood and the girls too they like to put it up and put it back so if we're walking and all of a sudden it gets really sunny they like to be able to pull it back themselves I don't have to worry about unzipping it for them at that time
Okay, I brought over my beloved Snap Do a Trend in charcoal. We have had this since the very moment it released. And really quick before we talk about the tires, the wheels, that's where we're going next. I want you guys to take a really quick look at the stroller. This stroller just went out with us last night. It went to Costco, it went to Trader Joe's. The girls had yogurt, they had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, they had puff chips, they ate in it, they had their waters, and the stroller looks beautiful. Like literally all I did was pull it out of the car to be able to show you guys. But the other reason I pulled this stroller out is I wanted to show you the difference in the tires. So the Snap Duo Trend comes with these tires. These are the EVA foam tires. So it comes with a 10 inch back wheel and an eight inch front wheel. Now my wheels are obviously used. We've had this stroller for absolutely, we've had it for years. But again, these are the EVA foam tires. What I did with the brand new Snap Duo Trend is I added the sold separately air filled tires. So these are the air filled or the all terrain tires. And I don't have the measurements from Velcro, but I measured this wheel at 11 inches. So one inch wider than the standard EVA wheel and the front wheel still at eight inches. But this is the brand new air filled all terrain wheel. The push on this stroller with the EVA wheels, the standard wheels that it comes with is amazing. My sister who is having her second baby, she wants my charcoal stroller so bad because she's like, it has the most beautiful push of any stroller she's ever seen. The EVA, the air filled tires just give it just a little bit more glide. We go to the beach a lot. We go places where it's really gravelly, really sandy. So I really just wanted the air filled tires. Super happy with them so far, but don't feel like you have to buy the air filled tires. We have literally had this charcoal stroller for years and used the EVA tires always with it. It's never had any other tires on it. Just finally when we were able to get the black one when it came out, I thought now's the time. Now's the time to try the air filled tires and they're good you guys, they're really good. But don't feel like you have to because the push without them is still amazing. It's just unbelievably amazing with the air filled tires. Now what we're talking about push, it is really a one finger push and when you want to use your brake, it is a flip flop friendly brake. It's always a tongue twister. So literally you step down, unlock it, step down to lock. And I really appreciate the flip flop friendly brake because living where we do in Southern California, I am hardly ever in closed toed shoes. <laughs> it hardly ever happens. So it's just really, really a nice, nice, easy thing to do. Now also while we're back here, let's go ahead and talk about fold. And I wanna talk about the fold that's different between these two strollers with the wheels. Let's go ahead and talk about the fold with these standard EVA foam tires that come with the Snap Duo Trend. It's a one hand fold, so you have a finger button right here underneath where my thumb is, and you have a trigger right here where my fingers are. So you're gonna squeeze with your thumb, squeeze with your fingers and fold forward. The stroller has something called a clean fold technology. What that means is when you fold the stroller, it folds in on itself. So the parts of the stroller that the children sit on aren't coming in contact with the ground. So all the part where they sit is inside itself. So if it's wet, if it's dirty, anything like that, you don't get that stroller folding onto the ground. Okay, that is a really unique feature to Velco. And it's again, one of the things that I love about it. Now to open the stroller, you're just gonna release the little arm right here and pop it open. Remember this stroller is only 24 pounds. It's super light. It's really easy to open and close. Now, when you put the air filled tires on the stroller, the stroller folds the same way. But what you're gonna notice is that the arm that catches it to keep it closed, you have to kind of do that yourself because the tire is like an inch bigger. So it doesn't catch as easy. So it still folds easy, the arm just doesn't catch. You're gonna squeeze, squeeze. So again, that's a one hand fold. Clean fold technology folds on itself. But when you look down here, see how the arm didn't catch itself? All I have to do, is do just like this. So it still latches, but I have to kind of do it myself. And then to release it, I just have to do it myself and pop it open. That little bit extra is worth it to me for the air filled tires. But I just wanted to let you guys know, still folds super easy, but you have to kind of latch that latch yourself, at least on my stroller. Now, as long as you guys aren't gonna judge how dirty the back of my car is, cause we've been gone all weekend. It is a long weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I get this into the back of my car.
So that's how sometimes I'll undo it if I want to undo the latch before I get out of the car. But if you want to do the latch afterwards, that's fine. I just like to flip mine out before it hits the ground so I don't have as much working with on the ground. But you can open it either way. So the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about with the Snap Duo Trend is the size of the basket. You guys, the basket makes this stroller so good. Like so, so good. I can't tell you. I carry the biggest diaper bags out there. And if you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you know, I like Jujube. I like Lily Jade. I like a lot of high-end bags. I don't want those bags hitting the ground. And I don't believe in hanging bags on the back of my stroller. I don't care what brand of stroller it is. I don't care how heavy it is. I don't care how light your bag is. I never hang a bag on the back of my stroller. I do safety for a living. It's not something that I do. It has nothing to do with Valco or anything. It doesn't matter if it was a Bob jogger, if it was a baby trend, if it's a Graco, if it's a Valco, I will not hang a bag on the back of it. So I carry really big bags and they all, every single bag I've ever owned has fit under here with room to spare. This is a giant basket. My love for Valco is great. You guys know that I have singles by them. I have doubles by them. I've owned every double. I own every double. I've owned every single. I adore the Valco strollers. And again, for anybody who's interested, remember that playlist is linked before in the iCards above, and I will go ahead and put it in the description box below. Go ahead and check out any of the videos that you want. My videos are very detailed, you guys. I am chatty. I'm lengthy because I want to make sure that I give you all the information that you could possibly need. I'm also talking really fast so that you're not here too long. But I wanted to give you a bit of a story time before we get out of here. And that's because, again, my girls are four and five, so you may think, why do you still have a stroller? Why did you get a brand new stroller when your girls are the age that they are? Okay, something that I haven't shared a lot on social media, my daughter who's four now, when she was three, just before her fourth birthday, she was dancing, dancing, you guys. She fell down and she broke her arm. And she didn't break her arm a little bit. She broke it just about as bad as she could break an arm without the bone coming through the skin. Horrible break. It hurt her so much that we could barely carry her. She never cried. She went right into shock. That's how bad it hurt. We got her into the car seat. We got her to the hospital, but it hurt so much that even to move her while carrying her was too painful. So we put her in the stroller for the entire time through the emergency room. Like she was broken so bad, you guys, we didn't even sit in the waiting room, right? They took us right back. They took all her vitals in her stroller, took us right back. She had all her exams in the stroller. The only time they removed her from the stroller was for an x-ray at which they gave her significant pain medication to put her right back in her stroller. The stroller offered two things. It offered her a smooth place to ride where she wasn't being jostled around very much. We were able to prop that arm with a blanket and have her not be jostled around like she would be if she was being carried or put on a gurney that doesn't have a smooth ride. It also offered her somewhere familiar to be. So it was a scary situation that offered her somewhere that she was familiar and felt safe. She loves her stroller. So they even wheeled her back to the operating room in her stroller. The nurse came back to us after they'd taken her back to the operating room and said it was the most, like the smoothest transition they'd ever seen. She never cried, she wasn't scared. They did everything they needed to do for her right before the operation, right in her stroller. And I hope that that never happens for you guys. I hope that you never have a situation where you have an emergency and you need to use something like this. But for us, while we were waiting, I was able to move the bumper bar and pretty much lay into the stroller with her and keep her comfortable because my other child wasn't with us and have her feel safe and secured and never have to be on a hospital bed or in a gurney where she would have been scared. She's terrified of hospital beds. But on a lighter note, last week, you guys, we live about three miles from my daughter's school. My five-year-old is in kindergarten. We live about three miles away. That drive takes about 35 minutes because of traffic. Um, there's only about seven spots you can park in at her school. So it's a walking school. They expect you to walk. And if you have to drive, you have to drive, park, and then walk. Well, two things happened. One, I was almost out of gas. And two, there was huge traffic because it was construction and a bunch of other stuff that was gonna happen. So I got about a mile and a half from the school, had about 20 minutes till school started and realized that one, we didn't have enough gas to sit in traffic for another 20 minutes. And two, we weren't gonna make it. We were gonna be late. So put my four-year-old and my five-year-old in the stroller and pretty much ran with them to school and we made it there we ran the mile and a half we made it plenty of time to get there but i wouldn't have been able to do that i would not have been able to run a mile and a half dragging my four and five year old behind me in 20 minutes they wouldn't have been able to do it right before school first thing in the morning it wouldn't have happened so we got to walk back my four -year -old and i got to walk back leisurely to the car she got to help push the stroller it was great but um again we wouldn't have made it without the stroller and we we really take this out with us every weekend every amusement park 
every hike, everything we do, pretty much we take it. Now the girls, I'd say walk about 80% of the time when we're out, but that 20% where they don't want to walk, they want to sit, they want to have a snack, they want to hide, it's really nice to have a stroller and allow them to do that. So they do walk the majority of the time at this point because of their age, but the stroller is still an invaluable resource for us. <sighs> okay, I've talked really fast. It's getting really warm out here. So that's it for me, you guys. I love to hear from you. If you have any questions for me, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you just want to say hi, go ahead and do that as well. I love getting back to all of you. And again, remember, stay tuned for some of those those photos at the end of the video here. I will give you some informational photos as well as some cute photos of my kiddos riding in the stroller so you can see what very large four and five year olds look like riding in the snap duo trend. That's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.